Hi, I'm going to show you how to set up the Tello. So this is mostly if you're considering using this in the classroom and particularly if you're looking at using multiple drones at once. Now the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that the battery is charged. So to charge the battery you can just put it straight in the drone and then use the mini USB cable that it comes with and plug that into a PowerPoint or also into your computer. Um, so just be aware that this can take up to about an hour and a half to fully charge, which is I know a bit of a challenge when you first get your drone and you just wanna get out there and fly, but you do need to be patient and make sure that it's fully charged before you start to fly. So that's the number one tip before you start to fly, charge, charge your battery. Now it's a bonus if you've got one of the multi chargers, so you can actually charge the battery while you're flying as well. So that's if you've got an external charger, but if not, you're going to need to charge it while it's inside the drone itself. Now, the next thing that you need to do is you're going to most likely update the firmware of the drone. And so this, this will be shown as you enter the Tello app, if you do need to update it, and it will step you through those steps as well. So we're gonna go over now to looking into naming your drone. And you'll see first of all that I've put a number on this drone here. So this is drone number eight, and that also matches the tablet that I'm going to pair it with. So I, I number the tablet and I number the drone so that we make sure that we're not getting any confusion in terms of which drone is going to talk to which tablet. So just a reminder that we've got tablet number eight and drone number eight in here too. And now what I'm going to do is to insert the battery from the back there. Um, and as I do that, I'm also going to turn it over um, to the side and there's a small on off button on the side there. So I'm going to press that on and when I do, um, you'll see that it has some lights that are going to flash at the front as well. Okay, so that just means that it's looking for a Wi-Fi connection. So what I need to do is to go into settings and so this is the same for if you're using this on iOS or Android and I'm on Android here and I'm going to go into my Wi-Fi. Now you can see that it's connected to my home Wi-Fi here, but what I need to do is to come down and I'm going to find the Tello. So you see here it comes up as Tello D3BC09. Okay, so that's not a name that's, that's terribly convenient at the moment, but that's okay, because that's something that we're going to change. Now the other thing that's really handy to do is to, if, it, if you have any of these other networks that have been saved, it's a good idea to actually forget them. So I'm actually gonna forget my home network. And so that way it's not going to default to connect to my home network instead of the Tello. So I'm gonna come back here now and go into the Tello app. And once we go into there, it's going to try to connect to that drone that we connected in the Wi-Fi. And you'll see the flashing lights here and it starts to change the flashing lights as it, as it comes up. Now we're just going to skip this beginner screen and you'll see that it has actually connected because you can see me here now through the camera. All right, so we can see what that Tello is looking at. Now what we actually wanna do here is if we look at this, this is our standard flight screen and we could actually just take off from here. But what I'm trying to do now is to set this up for a classroom situation. So I'm going to go into the settings here and I'm going to go over to the Wi-Fi settings. And you can see that it's got this name, Tello, Tello D3BC09, and that's not the easiest name to remember. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change this name and I'm going to make it a memorable name and call it uh, SheMaps08. Um, so that will make it easy for me to remember exactly which drone I want to connect to. So it's SheMap08. Now the key thing here also is to give it a password. Just give it an easy password. This isn't so much about security, it's just about locking the drone to this particular tablet. So I'm just going to call this SheMaps08. So nice and easy to remember. Okay, so it just wants a reset and that's that's perfectly fine. So we'll go okay with that. And now we've, we've done that and we know that our password is linked to that particular drone as well. So that way we're all set up and ready to go in the classroom.